Should you dose amino acids in your tank? And why does your tank need amino acids? Let's get into it. Hey yo everyone! So welcome back to another episode of Tell The Truth Thursday where I review a product that I use and I tell you what I think about it. Firstly, I'm not sponsored by anyone so these reviews are really just how I feel and information I wish I could find online but struggled to find. So today, we'll be talking about this product right here, Coral Amino by Brightwell. Before I jump into reviewing the product, let's understand why amino acids are important. In essence, amino acids are organic compounds and they are the building blocks in building proteins for corals which refers to tissue growth and tissue repair. And this allows faster growth and better coloration. Amino acids are constantly utilised by corals to grow their tissue which makes them an important food source for corals. As corals grow in a reef tank, they take in amino acids in two main ways. One way is for them to take it directly from the water column and the other means is through breaking down organic compounds such as zooplankton, phytoplankton, prey and detritus. When corals break down organic compounds, it requires energy for them to do so. In most amino acid additives in the market, there are two main forms of amino acid. One being complex amino acids where the amino acids are in groups and in chains and the other being free form aminos where the aminos are in the most elementary form. Coral Amino by Brightwell provides these amino acids in free form. What Brightwell did was that they looked at 21 specific amino acids that are almost in all corals and it targeted these aminos in the coral amino in its free form. So you can think about it as a broken down amino acids in a bottle. Freeform aminos are useful because they are easily consumed by corals and other organisms as they don't need to break down the aminos. I'm not 100% sure if they work, but based on my own antidotal experiences, after dosing them for a couple months, I do see better coloration and growth. The corals just look healthier with more feeding tentacles on my LPS, and better polyp extension as well as brighter colours. Of course, there could be many other factors that affect growth and coloration, but I'll just take it as the aminos are helping. So how I dose it is that I do it daily through target feeding, but if I'm lazy, I'll broadcast feed them. I shake the product, turn off my protein schema and my return pump, which leads to my mechanical filtration and I keep the skimmer and return palm off for around 20 minutes after dosing. Brightwell recommends allowing 10 to 15 minutes after using the product before resuming the operations of the filtration, but usually I leave it for a little longer than that. As per any product, I recommend starting slowly and ramping it up over months. I started with around 25% of the recommendation of 1 ml per 50 gallons, and now currently I'm about 50% of the recommendation. Some of the things that I like about this product is that it does not require refrigeration after opening like other similar products in the market. It also comes in a small bottle which saves some of my storage space and honestly, the corals seem to love it and they heal much faster after fragging. Something that I'm rather concerned about this product is that because every reef tank is different, every tank's coral load is different as well. So there is no one way to know if you are actually overdosing or underdosing amino acids. And to compound the problem, different corals require different ratios of aminos, which makes me unsure if there are any consequences. So in conclusion, I definitely will recommend dosing amino acids to your reef tank, but do it slowly and observe your corals over time. With that, I think I'll wrap up the video right here. Thank you for watching and do consider subscribing to this channel to follow my journey. Till next time, see ya!